Hello and welcome to the task video. These questions are typical assessment type problems. When you've done them, you can check your answers in the series guide called A Guide to Using Measurement, which can be found on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Question 1 reads as follows. A learner used a trundle wheel to measure the length and breadth of the school field. The wheel has a diameter of 40 centimeters. The wheel makes 100 revolutions for the length of the field and 50 revolutions for the breadth. Calculate the length and breadth of the field. Round this measurement off to the nearest meter. Question 2 is a distance time problem. It reads as follows. Two cars drive to Durban. The first car averages 105 kilometers per hour, while the other car averages 90 kilometers per hour. What is the time difference between their journeys if the distance to Durban is 590 kilometers? Remember that speed equals distance times time. Question 3 involves an estimation of area problem together with a costing calculation. Tabo needs to paint a wall and is unsure of how much paint he needs for the surface. He estimated by rule of thumb measuring that the length of the wall is 5 meters and the height to be 2 meters. A 2 liter tin of paint will cover about 3 square meters. How many two-liter tins must Tabo buy? What is the cost of the paint if a two-liter tin costs 54 rand? Question four involves a temperature conversion. Coquetto is going on holiday to Switzerland in December. She discovers that the average daytime temperature is 48 degrees Fahrenheit and the nights can get as cold as 15 degrees Fahrenheit. She is unsure of what type of clothing to pack and needs to convert these temperatures to degrees Celsius to be able to understand what the temperatures are like. Using the formula C equals F minus 32 in brackets multiplied by 5 over 9, calculate the average daytime temperature and nighttime temperature in degrees Celsius. Make a suggestion to Koketso about what type of clothing she should take with her on holiday. Question 5 asks us to use the distance formula. The Smith family decide that they are going on holiday to Cape Town this year. They wanted to work out how long the trip would take them as well as the cost for fuel. They found out that the trip was 1,400 kilometers to Cape Town and that fuel cost 12 rand 18 per liter. Remember, distance equals speed times time. How long would the trip take if they averaged 105 kilometers per hour and stopped for 30 minutes every two hours that they travel? What would they pay in fuel costs if their vehicle averages 11,2 liters per 100 kilometers? Question six asks us to find a volume for a swimming pool. A swimming pool consists of a rectangle and two half circles. The width of the pool is five meters and the length of the rectangular part is seven meters. Calculate the volume of water needed if the pool has a depth of 1,6 meters throughout. Question 7 asks to calculate a cost related to mass. Tamara bought 1,3 kilograms tomatoes at 12 rand 89 per kilogram and 700 grams of bananas at 7 rand 59 per kilogram. How much did she pay in total for these items? Question eight asks us to calculate a body mass index and comment on the value. Ishmael is 16 years old. He weighs 78 kilograms and is 1,62 meters tall. Using the formula for body mass index, calculate Ishmael's BMI. 
BMI equals mass divided by height squared. Use the information in the chart to suggest if Ishmael is underweight, normal, overweight, or obese. Well, grade 11s, I hope you managed to answer these questions with ease. If you are unsure of any section, go back and re-watch the video of that section. To check your answers and to get tips about how to answer each question, please take a look at the series guide, A Guide to Using Measurement, which can be found at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Take care.